Hello friends and welcome to EduSati. Now we'll be discussing the topic of time and work. In this topic, we'll be discussing about the relationship between time and work followed by the concept of pipes and cistern. So let's get started and look at the relationship between time and work. This relationship consists of problem on time taken to do a certain job by a certain number of workers. So basically you have to find out how much is the time taken to do a particular amount of job by the given number of workers. The change in the number of hours required to do the job if the number of workers are changed and the change in the number of hours required to do the same job by different people either of same or of different efficiency. So basically if you, if you would have understood you are uh, finding out the time taken depending upon the different situation in which the people there are more or less people employed or there are people of variable efficiency employed. Let's uh, look at a mathematical formula that we can derive out to ease our things. So if you, if you understand work done would be directly proportional to the number of men. That means if more men are employed you would be able to do more work. If, if the number of men employed becomes double of the original the work done will also become double of the original. Work done will also depend upon the number of days that people work for. If people work for more number of days, more work will be done. If people number for less number of days, people work for less number of days, less work will be done. So this is the number of men that are there. If more men for more, more work, this is the number of days. More number of days you work for, more work will be done. Work done would also be proportional to H, which is the number of hours per day. So if you days are clearly okay but if you work for more hour per day you will be able to complete more work the last factor being work done is directly proportional to efficiency the more efficient the person is the more work he'll be able to do so if i combine all of them work done is directly proportional to the number of men number of days number of hours per day and efficiency to remove this sign of proportionality and convert it into equality, I'll have to put a constant which is known as constant of proportionality. So this is the equation that I get. Now this constant would be constant under each and every situation. So the value of k would be equal to w, n, d, h and eta. So if the work is constant, number of days are more, less time would be required. Sorry, if the number of men are more, less time would be required and so on. So you can, you know, uh, remember the equation as N1, D1, H1, efficiency in the first case over W1, which is the value of the constant K1 is equal to K2 because it's a constant of proportionality. This constant would be equal and I'll have N2, D2, H2, eta2 over W2. Now in this equation, this equation is basically again the extension of the normal equation that you have multiplied with efficiency as well. So if you look here, W is the work done, now N is the number of men, D is the number of uh, days and H is the number of hours per day, eta is the efficiency and K is the constant of proportionality. This equation which is also known as a work equation is a very very important equation which will help you out in comparing the same work to be done in two different scenarios or the similar kind of work to be done in two different uh, in two uh, different scenarios let's look at the concept of efficiency efficiency is the rate of doing work how much work is done per unit time is referred to as efficiency a person who is more efficient will be able to do more work in the same amount of time. A person who is less efficient would be able to do less work in the same amount of time. So efficiency is directly proportional to the work done and efficiency is inversely proportional. Efficiency is directly proportional to the work done and efficiency is inversely proportional to the time taken, keeping the other things constant. Important concepts that you should remember that while uh, solving the questions on time and work are if A can complete a work in 10 days and I'm talking about here A alone. A alone can complete a piece of work in 10 days. Then 
every day first of all we have to assume that every day who is he is doing the same work then every day he'll be doing one tenth of the work so total work we always call it as one in terms of percentage uh, in terms of fraction one is done in 10 days so i just use the t unitary method that means in 10 days i do the complete work in one day i will do one tenth of the work and every day the work done is same unless otherwise specified if efficiency of A is twice that of B. So if a person is more efficient, he will take lesser time. If the efficiency is double, to do the same amount of work, the time taken would be half. In a given amount of time, A will be able to do twice the work as compared to B. And if I fix the work, the time taken would be half. So this is what I've told you, the time taken would be half and uh, if the work is constant and if the time is constant, the work done would be double. Pipes and cisterns. Pipes and cisterns basically consist of problems on how long will it take for different pipes of same or varying diameter to fill a cistern. So what is filling a cistern? Filling a cistern is the work to be done. And the time taken is the time taken by the pipe to fill that cistern. There could be one pipe, that means one person. There could be number of pipe, that means it can be, you know, uh, it can be referred to as the case where uh, there are multiple people who are working to finish the same amount of work. If the pipes are of same diameter, that means I can, you know, relate it to the case where persons who are working to do the same amount of work are for same are equally efficient and if the pipes have varying diameter that means it can be uh, it can be compared to a case where people of different efficiencies are employed to do a certain amount of work if the number of pipes are changed what is the change in the number of hours required to fill the same system or if the flow rate of the pipes is changed then what will be the time taken to fill that same cistern. So pipes and cistern is just a case which is very very similar to the number of men and the number of days they are working for to do a certain amount of work. The formulas which are to be used are the same. Everything is the same. So let's look at some of the important concepts that we can use while solving the question. If a pipe can fill a tank in X hours, now this pipe is filling the tank or a cistern in X hours alone. Again the same thing, in X hours I am doing the complete work. So in one hour I will be doing 1 by X of the work. And another pipe alone can fill it in Y hours. So again in Y hours it is doing the complete work. In one hour it will be doing 1 by Y -th fraction of the work. Then time taken time taken uh, by both the pipes sorry then the fraction of the tank filled by both the pipes in one hour a will be doing his part of the job which is 1 by x b will be doing his part of the job which is 1 by y i solve it out this is the fraction which is filled in one hour so in one hour x plus y over x y you know work is done so if I have to find out the time required to fill the complete tank by both the pipes. Now if both the pipes are working, in one hour they do this much work. So I would say x plus y over xy work is done in one hour. So full work, one work would be done in, I'll just cross, I'll just cross multiply the things, xy over x plus y hours. It's simple application of unitary method which is used here. If a pipe can fill a tank in X hour, so sa same question, X can fill it in 1 hour. So per hour, it can fill 1 by X. And another pipe can empty it in Y hours. So B here, B here is emptying it. So that means it's a negative work which is done. A would do his part of the job in 1 hour, 1 by X. B would do his part of the job. It will be a negative work because B is emptying the tank rather than filling it. So I'll just solve this out. This will give me the fraction of tank filled by both the pipes in 1 hour. So this much is happening. This fraction is happening in 1 hour. One fraction, that means total will happen in. I'll just take the inverse, which is X by over Y minus X. So this is how you can solve the question using the formulas. 
let's let's understand the things with the help of example abc are working on a job they take 12 15 and 8 days respectively to complete the job now this time is the time when they are taking to complete the job alone if a and b start off with the job and work for 4 days together before being joined by c when will the job be completed now to solve the questions we have two methods one is the lcm method another one is a fraction method i would always recommend you to do the things with an lcm method because that turns out to be simpler so abc are working on a job they take 12 days 15 days and 18 days respectively to complete a job if a and b start off with the job and work for 4 days together before being joined by c when will the job be completed so uh, to solve these type of questions i'll have to look at two methods one is an lcm method the second one is a fraction method i would always suggest you to use an lcm method because that's a method which is relatively simpler for you to understand and the answers can be calculated in a lesser amount of time so what i'll do is i'll take the lcm of their individual time periods so the individual time periods that i have are 12 15 and 18 i will take the lcm of their individual time periods so i hope you know how to find out the lcm so once the lcm is taken that lcm that lcm will be taken as the work to be done so i can take uh, the work to be done here as 180 units you can take it as an lcm or any multiple of lcm that is completely okay instead you can take it as x units y units 100 units 200 units as well but if you take an lcm value the answer that you get would be relatively easier because during the question solving you will not get fractional values you will get integer value answers only so if i look at a a does alone 180 units in 12 days so that means a does a total of 15 units every day so this is the per day or every day this is this is the efficiency or this is the rate of doing work by a now if i look at the case of b b does 180 units in 15 days so that means b does 12 units per day again efficiency or you can call it as the speed c 180 units in 18 that means it does 10 units every day if you look at it a is the fastest one or a has the highest efficiency as compared to b and c now when they are working together a and b start off a job and they work for 4 days together so that means a and b when they work together a does his part of the job b does his part of the job so that means they are doing 27 units in a day now this 27 units are happening for 4 days so this 27 units have happened for 4 days resulting in 108 units now 108 units have been already done out of 180 so i'm left with only 72 pending units now this 72 pending units are done by a and b and c so if they work together they would be doing what 37 units per day A and B does twenty seven, C does ten, twenty seven, thirty seven units per day. How many units are left over? Seventy two. So, seventy two units would be done in the number of days at the rate of thirty seven per day. So, if I just divide seventy two with thirty seven. i would get the number of days that i will require to solve this so if i look at it it is just a little less than 2 it's a little less than 2 i can write it as 1 point i can solve it in 1.95 days so the total answer would be 4 days which a and b take alone 
and 1.95 days so it will be 5.95 days that they take to complete the same amount of work so my answer would be none of these let's look at another question a and b are working on a job a is the builder and b is a demolition man so that means b does negative work a days 10 days to construct a wall completely and this time is alone b take 20 days to demolish it completely how much time is required to build the wall completely if the two situations are they work simultaneously and if they work on alternate days and a starts the job the approach to the question would remain the same the lcm of their individual time periods will be taken as the work to be done so the work to be done i will assume is at 20 units a completes 20 units in 10 days so that means a does two units a day whereas b does 20 units b destroys 20 units in 20 days so that means it destroys one unit per day now when a and b are working together when they are working together a will construct b will demolish at the end of the day i'll have one unit left so to completely do 20 units at the rate of one unit a day i will take a time which is equal to 20 days this is the case when both a and b are working simultaneously let's look at the second part of the question if they are working alternatively a on the first day b on the second a on the third b on the fourth so this is what plus two minus one plus two minus one and so on now the difference in these two questions is here a and b are working simultaneously so i can take them together here a and b are not working simultaneously so i'll have to pair them into groups that means in two days one unit is done in another two days one unit is done so if this thing keeps on happening keeps on happening till the time 18 units are done till the time 18 units are done so that means to do 18 units i would have taken a time which is equal to 18 into 2 36 days why 36 because this group size is 2 one day a one day b now after 36 days on the 37th day 37 day it is a's job a's job and a will do plus 2 units giving me 18 plus 2 which is 20 units which are done 20 units which are done so my work is completed on the 37th day now once the neg once the positive work is complete once the work is finished negative work will not happen then so on the last day positive work happens and when the item is done b cannot work back come the next day and work again and demolish the wall so the number of time that will be required is 20 days in the case they are working simultaneously and since they are working on alternate days the time that will be required will be 37 days another example a monkey can climb a wall, a pole, 9 meter in 1 meter, 1 minute and slips back 2 me meters in another minute. How much time will it take to cover 63 meter pole? So the, the monkey, the pole length is 63 meters. Monkey does a positive work of 9 in 1 meter, 1 minute and slips back 2 in another minute. So this is minus 2. So effectively in 2 minutes he has done plus 9 and minus 2 so that means effectively in 2 minutes he has done plus 7 7 meters right now once he reaches to the end point he will not slip back so I will not look at 7 into 9 as 63 and 2 into 9 as 18 that will not be the right answer what I'll do I'll do 7 into 7 into 8 that means 56 meters 56 meters is done in a similar way that means till 56 meters I am moving 9 and I am following 2 moving 9 following 2 so that means this thing is happening for 16 minutes now in the next minute in the next minute he can reach 9 meters 
so if i just add 9 into 56 that gives me an answer which is 65 meters so that means at the end of 17 minutes he will be at 60 he he could be at 65 if he does that but i don't have to do it i just have to i don't have to do a complete minute i just have to do a little less than that so if you just look at it i need 7 and in a minute i can do 9 so my answer would be 16 7 by 9 minutes or if you're still not clear about that 9 meters can be covered in 1 minute 1 meter can be covered as 1 by 9 of a minute so 7 meters can be covered in 7 by 9 of a minute so thereby my answer will be 16 7 by 9 the example on pipes and cisterns, an inlet pipe alone can fill a whole tank in 10 hours, while an outlet pipe can empty the tank in 25 hours. So again, the concept would remain the same. I would take the LCM of their individual time period. So you can take the LCM to be 50 and assume them to be the capacity or the work to be done. I will assume the capacity to be 50 liters. Now pipe a can fill 50 liters in 10 hours so that means it fills at the rate of 5 liters an hour whereas pipe b can empty 50 liters in 20 hours so that means 50 liters in 25 hours so that means it does a negative work which is 2 liters per hour when both the pipes are open so a is also working and B is also working A will fill B will empty so ultimately the flow rate will be 3 liters per hour I have to fill the total 50 liters at the rate of 3 liters per hour so the time that will be taken will be 50 by 3 hours which will be 16 2 by 3 hours giving me an option number 2 as my answer Another example in pipes and cisterns, a cistern is filled by an inlet pipe in 5 hours. So total, inlet, uh, total because of the leak it takes 30 minutes more to fill up. In how much time will the leak alone empty the filled cistern? So what is it? First time which is given to me is 5 hours. The second time which is given to me is 5.5 5 hours, right? I will find out the LCM of these time periods and I will assume them to be the capacity of the up so if i have to find out the lcm i can write this as 5 i can write this as 55 by 10 i can convert it into fractions this 5 i can also write it as 50 and 10 and i have to find out the lcm it will be lcm of numerators so it's lcm of 50 and 55 divided by HCF of denominators that is why I have taken 10 10 as the denominator so as the HCF comes out to be the same value which is 10 now this is 5 into 10 this is 5 into 11 so my LCM would be 5 into 10 into 11 that's why I've just not done so the LCM that I will get would be 55 uh, liters that I'll suppose so the capacity that I'll get here is 55 liters pipe a Pipe A alone, if I just look at it, can fill 55, 55 liters in 5 hours. That means the flow rate is 11 liters per hour. Whereas pipe B, pipe sorry, pipe A and B can fill 55 liters in 5.5 hours. They're taking more time, right? So if I just look at uh, this. <coughs> the total thing that comes out to be the total thing that comes out to be is 10 liters per hour so initially it was 11 now it is 10 so that means b is doing a negative work which is at the rate of 1 liters per hour so if b alone has to empty it if b alone has to empty it it will empty 55 liter at the rate of 1 liters per hour that means it will take 55 hours to empty the thing. 
so thereby giving me option number C as my answer.